So this is like part three of talking about the stress strain curves because there's just a lot of information that we can glean from them, like whether or not a material is ductile or brittle. And the way to determine that is based off of where the material fractures. If it fractures right after yielding or even before yielding, then it's brittle like a ceramic. You don't really want to put it in tension or it'll just crack. But if the material does plastically deform a lot, then that's a ductile material like polymers or aluminum. Those will have the yielding point and then continue to strain and plastically deform. And we can kind of measure that based off of percent elongation, which is the strain at the fracture point. Another thing that we can determine from the stress strain curve is the ultimate tensile strength, which is the a highest strength that's measured, that's that top of the curve, and at that point volume is no longer conserved and we can't assume that. Uh, in this case then the true stress and true strain no longer work and also the cross-sectional area is rapidly decreasing which is why you kind of see that curve go down for the engineering stress and strain it's because we're assuming it's still that initial area but that's not even close anymore instead we're getting this like very narrow region where there's also little pockets developing in these ductile materials we can determine from the stress strain curve is the modulus of resilience which is how much energy the material absorbs when elastically strained and then how much it releases. And in this case, it is based off of the integral of the stress strain curve in that elastic region. So especially if we assume that it's a completely linear region and we treat it like a triangle, it's easy to calculate and we can actually determine it using the Hooke's law and get it based off of just the stress and the Young's modulus. So we can take properties that are from spec sheets for a material and determine how much energy it will absorb and release when elastically strained. If you want to learn more about material science and engineering, like and follow for more.